how good does the AI system perform and uh, how many uh, intensive human work uh, should be involved. And take an example of the speech recognition that hundreds of thousands of speech that was carefully human transcription are needed. Another issue of the uh, AI system is a very powerful computation ability needed, like AlphaGo, 1,000 more uh, CPUs. And the current AI system cannot work standalone well without the uh, network connection. With the computation power in the big data, we need a big container. D model is such kind of big, big data that can uh, make the steady progress along with the increasing of the data. And we can see the big differences for the AI system between the AI systems and the human brain in the way of the learning and uh, learning efficiency. And the more big difference is that the, actually the system is independently disconnected. They cannot share in the uh, knowledge and the data. Human brain growing like a tree with a consistent interaction with the environment. And we can see the neural connection changes over the development from the newborn baby to adult. And what kind of aspect we can learn from the brain. Let's see the left down pictures with the many animals and over overlapped. And uh, with the, through the convolutional neural network, we just add a backward connection in the network and a very good separation of the uh, animals and the recognition can be uh, productive. This is another example from the top-down view of the brain-inspired models that model the different uh, brain regions working coordinately uh, from the sending the information and uh, make the output decisions uh, without human interventions. And this is more like brain-like models that are using the spiking neural network uh, neurons and uh, pure learning using the biological rules achieves a comparable result with the state out of the deep neural, neural network but with a very uh, little less energies. So current AI system based on the big data can be consistently learned from the brains. Even plus the wearable uh, equipment, uh, we can let the robotics to learn the human actions uh, from the uh, human's movement parameters. The state of the art of the AI is that uh, the machine intelligence is rapidly approaching the human abilities in perception intelligence, but still far away uh, for co in cognition level, especially for natural language understanding and uh, like the semantic modeling reasoning. The most significant output of the brain expand model is brain chip with uh, different architectures and uh, together with uh, many training tools and learning data that uh, they can integrate together to solve some vertical uh, applications. So more about uh, brains in this slide, the hypothesis that uh, brain uh, opt can optimize the cost of functions and the cost of functions are de adverse uh, from the areas and over the development. So through this research way, we, we more adaptive models can be achieved. Fortunately, if we can lead to the more general intelligence that exact multi-tax and can share in the knowledge. Thanks.